something down there. Beach here. Poor thing. You are taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. <laughs> They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's bow. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. That's an interesting gate. I wonder who built it. Gulvig's bones. What will you say to her? To Gulvig? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that! I... You don't understand. Neither do you.
the final bone. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just... Never mind. I just gotta return the bones. I wonder why Vivi's bones are all over the place. Desecration, typically. Pieces of scattered corpse make for a piss poor soul. No hope for Valhalla or Helheim when your arm's on one beach and your head's on another. Why not ask the spirit? I'm sure he will be forthcoming with answers. We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik. Whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvik! Evni Uka Bithyast. She says she'll honor our request. Eldi Fagna. And reunite us? In Okay, you are This is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. Look if you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand.
This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, BOMB, struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. No. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Didn't seem to do anything. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Atreus, to me!
find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. It's over. It is over, isn't it? <laughs> An all-fine light crystal. Wonder what it's for. <laughs> Can you read it? Sir! To Njord we all got to see you. Ah yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and sea. Hey! Pardon the little freestyle. That's it.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right.
Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Let's do Boy, it. Boy, Farmer really liked jewelry, didn't he? he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow-covered corpse. Wait. There's one of those shatter crystals in his jewelry. Psst. How about you, young one? I say so. Myself. Until we meet again, my friends. Very well. To business.
looks amazing. Was there more? More to discuss?